Disclaimer, this video contains the information published by the Department of Education in line with the milk. I do not assert ownership on the material being used. Good day kids! In this video, we are going to discuss the changes in the different materials. Are you ready? In this lesson, you will investigate changes that happen in materials under the two conditions, which are number one, presence of oxygen, and number two, application of heat. In the previous lesson, you discovered that properties of materials tell about their uses or importance or whether they are useful or harmful. When these materials combine with other substances, they will undergo changes in their properties. There are two ways how materials change. Number one, the physical change, and number two, the chemical change. Physical change happens when the materials change in shape or size, but the substances or particles making up the materials are still the same. These changes are directly observed when you cut or slice an apple. There are changes in shape and size of an apple, but the materials is still the same. Aside from cutting, there are also other processes that cause changes in the materials. These include bending, dissolving, freezing, boiling, shredding, and melting. The breaking of glass into pieces is also an example of physical change. Change in the state of matter from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas is also an example. The picture on the next slide show the different processes that cause physical change. Examine each picture. What do you think will happen to its properties after each process? On the other hand, you can explore chemical change by observing an apple. If you have an apple at home, cut it into two and expose it to oxygen in the air. If the apple is not available at home, observe the picture on the next slide that shows the uncut and cut apple. What did you observe in its color after cutting the apple and exposing it to oxygen after 5 minutes? If you observe that it changes from whitish to brownish color, then it undergoes chemical change. The oxygen which is introduced in the surface of the apple releases the free radicals in an oxidation process. These turn apple into brown color. The material undergoes chemical change. There are substances in an apple that combines with oxygen and causes the browning of apple. Metals such as iron rest when exposed to oxygen. Rusting occurs when the surface of the metals or its alloys, such as steel, will corrode in the presence of water. Water is a compound that is made of oxygen and hydrogen. The presence of oxygen causes rusting of iron. The process of rusting is a combustion reaction similar to creation of fire. If it is left in contact with oxygen, iron will react with oxygen to form rust. Rusting is the common term for corrosion of iron and its alloys. There are other processes that cause chemical changes. These are burning, cooking, rusting, and rotting. Cooking and burning involves the application of heat. These cause the materials to change in their state and composition. When this happens, a new substance and different properties or products are formed.
Some evidences of chemical change are the production of heat and light, formation of bubbles, or formation of a precipitate or solid within a solution. In a different video, I am going to show you some materials when exposed to the presence of oxygen or absence of oxygen and materials undergo chemical change when heat is applied. These are all for now kids. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Keep safe everyone. Bye!